that later I'm going to interview since like today is Thanksgiving. So um, I'm going to ask them a bunch of questions about fall and the upcoming very cold winter and ask them of something about Thanksgiving. Because I think these leaves falling from the trees, they must have something to say, right? They, they must think of something when they fall from the trees and travel around the world with the wind, you know? So, um, I just thought it would be a very good idea to interview them. And so, let's just go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to start by selecting this, the biggest leaf of the stack, a very big and um, dry leaf that if I squeeze it a bit hard, it will probably crumble up, which I'm not going to do. And so I'm going to first ask him a bunch of questions. Are you ready? Okay, he's ready. I'll leave the stage to you. Well, I come from a very big tree that came to, contains a lot of big leaves like me. Well, there was a suddenly very, very huge gust of wind blowing at me. And at the first, I don't know what it was, but then I realized that I've been blown off my tree. And I started to journey in the wind, but later I found myself on the ground. But luckily, Jill picked me up. I was quite thankful for the wind. Since it's Thanksgiving now, I want to give thanks to the wind because it was the wind who brought me right here doing this interview. If it wasn't for the big wind, I would have stayed on the branch for the whole time and then just doing nothing and just enjoying the view. And that's quite boring. So yeah, thank you, wind. Is that all? Yes, that is all. Nice. Thank you. Okay, guys, the next leaf I am going to choose is this leaf which is still green but also has fallen from a tree so let's hear from this little green leaf i come from a medium-sized tree i mean like not very large and not very small i come from a big leaf family and they're all as green as i am some of them turn yellow though my stem is too tired to hang on to the branch of the tree, so that's why I fell from it. But I think it's quite fun. The next one, I'm going to pick this one. It's a kind of a oval-shaped leaf with, um, it's kind of brown, but when I first picked it up from the ground, it was bright red. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a really beautiful leaf back then. So let's hear from this little leaf. Hey there, um, well, you know, I am a, a pretty ordinary leaf. I think most leaves are sh shaped this way, and, um, yeah. Well, I think the cold weather kind of brought me down from the branch, because when I was really high up, I can also feel the cold wind and stuff, and I'm really scared of cold, so I want to get down so maybe the wind wouldn't blow me too much, so that's why I got down, and I, it was quite comfortable on the ground, but thankfully, Jill picked me up and brought it to this little art room, which is a lot more warmer even than the ground, so I'm thankful to the people who picked me up. For the next leaf, I am selecting this little yellow leaf, which is really, very really cute. Let's hear from her. I belong to a big tree with a lot of small leaves on it. And I'm thankful for that when I fell down, I was at my just right color and I was just bright yellow. And my old family and friends leaves all were all really jealous of me because I was so pretty, pretty yellow while they're all green or brown or something. So that's what I'm thankful for. Okay, so our last cons Testant will be this weirdly shaped leaf. Okay, let's hear from him. Hey guys, um, I think you have noticed that I am a pretty, pretty weird looking leaf since most leaves have a top and I don't. My top is pretty awkward. But other than that, I'm really proud and thankful for the shape I'm now because I think not many leaves are shaped like th this. Most of them are just oval or something or maple leaves, but I think I'm really like my shape. Look, I'm so handsome. Ha ha ha. And also, Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, everyone!